Okay, this is another demo for a PX backup. On the left, you have PX backup with two clusters. We're gonna be using the top one running 117.8. And on our right, we have a terminal that is open to the same cluster we'll be working with. Here you can see that it's running the same version of Kubernetes that's reported in that top cluster on the left. So, we're going to be talking about backup and pre and post rules for MySQL. So we have a namespace set up here called MySQL NS1, which is running a MySQL database in it. And you can see here's the deployment, PVC and PV associated with that database. We can go ahead and log into that MySQL instance and we have pre-populated a small table to work with to kind of show and validate that our backups are working as expected. We have a family database with a pet table. And within that, we have a single record uh, which describes a dog. Now, we are going to go ahead and back this up. Um, and to do that, we would need to fill out this form. But first, we're going to talk about pre and post backup rules. And we can manage them from our backup rules uh, view here. And you can see there's two targeting app MySQL. And so if we dig into the details, the selector is app MySQL. So MySQL on the right here has that label. And the pre-rule is going to flush tables with read lock. And that's going to make sure that uh, the tables are locked so that no new um, IO is happening to them. And it's going to flush data to disk. And our post rule is going to flush our logs and also unlock those tables so that the database is back and ready to work. So let's go back to that namespace and configure our backup with those two rules. Again, we'll go and select our MySQL NS1 namespace and select backup. You'll have to give it a name. You can select the target of the backup location. We're using S3 in this case and select if you want it on the schedule or not. We're not going to. And here's where you configure that rule for pre-exec and post-exec. Once you're done, go ahead and click create or optionally add some labels. Once you click create, it'll go through a number of different statuses, uh, such as pending when it, you initially create it. When that backup job is started, it'll go into an in-progress state. And you can view the details here. Here you can see that the pre-exec rule is being executed. That's telling us that that flush tables with read lock is happening right now. And then it'll move on to backup the PVs and resources. So now we can see that the details show us that the application resources are, are uh, in progress for backup, meaning the PVCs, PVs, all that data, and uh, Kubernetes objects. Now it's success state. So that tells us our backup has succeeded and our pre and post rules have run. So now we should have a backup that we can restore from with this particular data set. So let's go ahead and add another piece of data so that we can verify that our backups are working correctly. Here we can see that now we have two dogs represented in that table. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and click restore on this uh, backup that we just took and fill out the restore form. So the first thing you'll need is a name for this restore and which cluster. You can back up to different clusters, you can restore to different clusters. So in this case, we're going to the same cluster, but a different namespace. So we select custom restore. And in this case, we're gonna go from our source namespace to a new testing namespace, uh, which we've done a number of different tests with. So uh, we also wanna make sure that we're gonna replace any resources that have been in that namespace already from old tests with uh, data that we're backing up and restoring. So now our backup and restore is done and we're logging into that new pod that's in the MySQL NS1 testing namespace. And we can select the same database and table and we should see the correct data, which is there with our one record. And uh, that shows us that our restore worked properly and our pre-rules and post rules for that backup to make it application consistent also worked. Thanks for joining and until next time, take care.